My name is uh, Rick Gillis, work for the City of Thunder Bay, and at the moment I drive the Python 5000, which is a pothole machine. It's, uh, it's new to the City of Thunder Bay, and uh, I think it works pretty well, and hopefully we could uh, get a few more on the road. It feels safe to drive. I'm not outside with the traffic, I'm not following a truck anymore. Uh, it's a one-man operation and uh, it cut down on uh, the, the people we used to have to use to uh, fix roads. They still do it the same, the old way, but now we can do it with just one person. Um, what it does is uh, it'll apply, it'll blow out and clean the hole out. You can actually uh, uh, add an adhesive if needed and it applies the material and puts the weight of the machine down on it to roll it. Our roads here in Thunder Bay are pretty bad. Mm -hmm. This is well used in Thunder Bay. I've been at this for one year. Actually almost one year today, I, I use it year round. Winter time, minus 40. Uh, yeah, we get some really temperature differences here in Thunder Bay. And uh, yeah, we use it all winter. As long as I can see the road, I fill in potholes. So if it snows one night, I'll go out in the grater for a few days and clean up roads. Then after the salt trucks and everything have been by and the roads clear up, I get back into this and I start filling holes again. Uh, a good day for me, I'll average about eight tons. I go by weight. The most I've ever put, put out is uh, this is because I was working right near the asphalt plant doing a really bad road. My best day is 17 tons. This has a maximum capacity of about three and a half tons, three to four. And that's uh, hot asphalt coming right from the plant, not the UPM that I just showed you what I was using now. That we get out of the back of our yard and that's what we use in the winter time when our asphalt plants are down. It takes a little while to learn how, how to drive it. It's a little bit complicated. Um, you have to have the desire to do something different. You can't be stuck in whatever. And I think uh, the mechanics need to get a little bit better on her. But uh, that's just because they haven't fixed one before. They really don't know what's going on. They're having the same problems I was having when I first started out as the operator for this. I was unsure of things, that's why they check into things more. They, they, they don't want to make anything wrong, so they check it out really good before they send me back on the road so it's safe. Everything has to be safe. 